Well, as you may know, I'm a bit of an apprentice super fan, and we criticize the BBC quite a lot on this station, but one of the things they do really well is The Apprentice. It's a brilliant show, and the winner this year is a fantastic young woman called Rachel Wolford, and uh, she wants to uh, expand her empire of gyms, and she really, from early on in the process, was very, very clearly, very determined, brilliant negotiator, uh, someone who put you know, lots and lots of work in. Didn't win every single time, but did very, very well nonetheless. And I'm delighted that Rachel is with me now. Rachel, congratulations on your win. What an amazing uh, journey you've had through The Apprentice, my goodness. Thank you, Peter, and thank you for such a lovely introduction as well. Um, yeah, it's, you know, The Apprentice is so much more than I ever expected it to be. I've watched it for a long time myself, you know, from a viewer's perspective, and then to go on to it, it's, you know, obviously completely different to what you kind of see. But yeah, an amazing experience and now to win it as well, just incredible. Yeah, and actually you talked in The, uh, the Apprentice, You're Fired, the, the show afterwards. Uh, great dress, by the way. I, I, I would, I, 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 can, can I borrow it, actually? I think I get away with it uh, quite, quite well. I never get dressed up. I'm always in my gym kit. So <laughs> of course, myself. of course. <laughs> uh, but you talked about Leah Totten, of course, Dr. Totten from uh, Northern Ireland, who was the winner, I think, when you were 17, actually. You were watching The Apprentice. So it's something you always wanted to be on because there are so many people, uh, business people I know, who say, oh, I can't think of anything worse than going on The Apprentice uh, because of the pr huge pressure you're under but you certainly weren't put off in fact you're inspired by it yeah I think you know when you're 17 like most 17 year olds you don't really know what you want to do with your life I knew I wanted my own business but I just I think I wasn't quite brave enough at that age to start one up and obviously you know it's not really logistically possible either but I was really inspired by seeing Louisa and Leah in the final. I just thought they are so cool. Yes. <laughs> and I do not think I'm cool, by the way, when I say that. But I, did think I, 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 think, I think you're pretty cool. Um, <laughs> what, what I think was probably the coolest point, and maybe you could repeat it for me here, Rachel, if you feel if you feel you can, was the Buddha, Buddha, Buddha pest uh, aspect when you went to Budapest. I mean, you must have been rinsed by your friends for that one. Oh, I knew I would. But the second I did it, I knew I would get rinsed. And do you know what? This is <laughs> this is the backstory. So, like everyone, when you're 18, you go on your girls' holiday. And I went to Aya Napa, and there was the chant, when you shout Aya, you shout Napa and all that. And I, that's what I thought, right, we'll do this in Budapest. <laughs> so I all of a sudden have this foghorn in my hand, and I've got to tell these people who have paid a lot of money to be in Budapest and go on our tour, all about this city that I've literally been in for 24 hours. So, you know, it's typical Apprentice, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, and well, the one thing I always wonder about is when you say, you know, some ungodly hour of the morning and say, you know, the cars will be there in 20 minutes. Do you honestly only have 20 minutes to get ready or is there a, bit, a little bit of leeway perhaps? Honestly, it's really tight with the schedule. You do have 20 minutes to get ready. And the only difference is, you know, you have 20 minutes to get ready and get downstairs and then you aren't immediately out the door. You have to eat your breakfast and you have to get mic'd up. But it is like a really tight schedule. Everything is, you know, we're filming so tightly timed and you've got to make the most of a day. So, you know, it's, it's up out and to work. And how much like running a business is it? Because, of course, we only see the edited highlights and so on. I mean, were you happy with how you came across? Because sometimes we had former contestants saying, oh, well, you know, there was, for example, when you were in the car with your for, for your fellow finalist there, um, the pie man, Phil, um, you know, it, it was it was portrayed as if you were looking out the window and, and having a single word to say to one another. And perhaps in that journey, you actually had had a conversation. I mean, w w was all of that accurate? Do you know what? We laughed at that because we had been speaking, but we were so exhausted. You know, we just we'd gone through those final five interviews, which are, are so exhausting in themselves. And then they're, they're brutal. Out. They're so brutal, yeah, those interviews. Exactly. And we just found out we were in the final, which is such an emotional moment. So, you know, we we, we talked, we chatted, we were so supportive of each other. And I think <laughs> I think for dramatic effect, they put the in where we're just both like, wow, we're in the final looking out the window. So. No, you know, Phil and I get on really well. And, you know, what you see is, is, you know, obviously happens. And I think I had a really positive experience watching it. And, you know, you said, what's it like compared to running a business? And running a business is, you know, you're firefighting all the time, you're putting out fires. It is chaos. It always will be. And I think that probably prepared me quite well. Nothing prepares you for The Apprentice entirely. But, you know, I'm used to kind of dealing with people and yep. going wrong because that is just life and business. And I think that's probably why I was so calm the whole way through. 
So what, what actually happens now, Rachel? Do you just get an alert on your phone saying, uh, you know, Alan has uh, given you £250,000? Is that is that what happens? And then you start uh, building your extra gems? Because you have a gem up in Leeds there. And, uh, the, I mean, the, the avatar, the, the uh, what do you call it, the metaverse that you were building for it was fantastic as well. Uh, it just looked really, really interesting. It could e even persuade someone like me to want to go to the gym. Uh, but, I mean, what, what, what are the next steps? So, you know, next steps are to get, you know, have meetings and discuss where the next location will be. I'm from Leeds. I'm a Yorkshire girl. You know, I've got a studio in Leeds, a studio in Harrogate. And then there was talk in the final five about me doing one in the Northeast, which is where I went to university. And, you know, that is a potential location. It's all kind of to be, to be confirmed at the moment. I am looking into a few different places. You know, I know Yorkshire really well and I know which locations would thrive. So I'm going to take those to Lord Sugar and, and see what he says and what he which one he's happy with going with. Brilliant. Well, Rachel, uh, my, my, I went round to my friend Simon and Jude's house and we uh, we had a pizza and watched, uh, pro probably deeply inappropriate given where you were talking about gyms, maybe a pie yeah, would have been better. Never inappropriate but, having a pizza. But we, were, we were cheering you on uh, from, from the very, very start. And I wish you really, really well. I'm sure great things. Thank this you, this is just the start, Rachel. Uh, you've done fantastic things. You come across really well as well. And I think, uh, I hope this isn't sexist or patronising, but I think you're probably a, 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 big, a big inspiration for young women wanting to get into business as well. So well done. I really hope so. Thank you, Peter. That's really kind. Great stuff. Uh, congratulations. That's Rachel Wolford, The Apprentice winner, 2024.